Good afternoon and welcome this Sunday, December 5th, 2021 to the second week of Advent. Last week on the 28th of November was the first week of Advent and it was centered around hope, that Jesus is our hope. We celebrate Advent in the last four weeks leading up until Christmas Day in a reflection of the first coming of Christ. When he came as a baby, born of a virgin, grew up and fulfilled the purpose and the plan of God for his coming. This week, being the second week of Advent, the word is peace. Jesus is our peace. What is peace? Peace is when we trust and rest in God. In spite of all we see happening around us, we trust in the Lord. Again, I say we are living in perilous times. And it is only the peace that God can give us that will help us sustain amongst all that is going on around us so that we won't live in fear. The Bible says we are to trust in the Lord with all our heart and lean not to our own understanding and in all our, all our ways we're to acknowledge God and he, he, he'll direct our paths. The Bible also says in John 14, 27, his peace he will give unto us, not as the world giveth. His peace is the peace that passes all understanding and for us not to have a troubled heart and for us not to be afraid. This is a faith walk, y'all. There's a hymn I remember us singing in church a long time ago, and we still sing it now. It's one of my favorite hymns. It's called, We've Come This Far by Faith. Leaning on the Lord and trusting in His Holy Word. The Bible says we're justified by faith. Therefore, we have the peace of God. And that we should let that peace of Christ rule in our hearts. It is easy to be, become anxious in these days and times. You see so many things on the news, so much violence is plaguing the world, and uh, we're in this pandemic, and it's much talk about n new things are developing, and sickness is all around us, and um, sometimes it's hard to stay focused and not be uh, anxious about what's to come. But God has already been there. He's already seen it. He already knows. And he says, give me all your cares and worries. When you get on your knees and you pray and you ask God to protect you and your family. and To uh, keep, keep you all safe. And ask him to not let you worry. Ask him to give you peace. And that peace is what's going to help you get through each day. Despite what you see, we're taking, we're all on a faith walk. We have to live by faith and not by sight. I'm not saying ignore the things that are going on and act like they're not in existence. I'm just saying, give it to God, all your cares and your worries, 
and ask him to give you peace. Because he is the only one that's going to give you the right kind of peace. And it won't be temporary. It, 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 it won't be temporary. I encourage you to strengthen your relationship with God. Put your trust in the Lord. Trust in his promises. Trust in his word. Life is in the scriptures. Hope is in the scriptures. Peace is in the scriptures. When you read what what God has done, what God is doing, and even those things that are to come, we haven't seen manifested yet. But we have to trust God. We have to trust him. So I, in, in leaving, I pray for peace for everyone that's listening, that has tuned in this second week of Advent. And may the Lord bless you and your family and keep you all safe. And I'll be back again next week, Lord willing, for the third week of Advent to talk to you some more. Last week, I encouraged you to read the book of John, which is in in the New Testament, one of the four Gospels in the New Testament. This week, I'm going to encourage, going to ask you to read the book of Romans. Going to leave you with that, the book of Romans. Again, I thank you for stopping by. This is a glorious time for all the believers. It's uh, the month that we celebrate Christ. Our hope is in Christ. Our peace is in Christ. And God's grace is the only thing that's going to carry us through till... Jesus returns again, his second coming. So, worship the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords, and always be grateful for his many blessings because his grace is the only thing that carries us through each day. His grace is what wakes us up in the morning. His grace takes us to sleep at night. His grace watches over us as we're sleeping. Keep our homes safe. Keep our family safe within. So give God the glory. And until next week, everybody, take care and be blessed. Bye.